guys, welcome back to Clever News. Today is such an exciting day. First of all, I'm Deidre Behar, joined by Katie Krause. Hi guys. And we are loving all things The Canyons right now. It's this totally, it's totally awesome new movie. And today we're joined by one of the stars, Nolan Gerard Funk, who plays Ryan in the movie. Um, right off the bat, the words that come to mind are like racy, scandalous, hotness. Do you have any to add? I mean, intense, dark, twisted. Gritty. But a really talented cast. You guys are all phenomenally talented yeah. and you all came together so nicely. What is it like working with Lindsay from like celebrity pop culture, James from the adult industry, you have like a Broadway theatrical background, what was it like all coming together? I, I think it's great, you know, it's uh, it was a lot of different types of people. Um, I was really excited to work with Brady Sinellis. Yeah, uh, kind of I major. Just, yeah, I mean he's <laughs> just, you know, um, I love Less Than Zero, American Psycho, I mean these are all like, these are all movies and stories that we've known for years and um, you know I think he's got a, such a distinctly unique portrayal of Los Angeles going on in this mm -hmm. and uh, I was also a big fan of his so um, you know it was neat I mean I, in the movie I play this guy Ryan who you know he's not he's not the coolest he's, he's a little bit when you first meet him he's a bit more conservative he's you know, it, it would be easier for me to play the the flashy bad boy. Right. And Ryan's part a of the, hustler, though. Yeah, Ryan Ryan hustles, and and as the movie goes on, you you sort of start to like go, whoa, like this guy's not not He's getting around. Far, yeah. He's going for it. Well, in the vein of Ryan doing anything to sort of make it as an actor, what's maybe the hardest thing that you've had to do in your actual career? Oh, I would say one of the hardest things that I dealt with was taking the bus in LA. Metro transportation. Tra traffic is already bad for those of you who don't know. On a bus, I mean. I, when I, I first came to LA, you. I bussed it all over town. I mean, you have to time it, it make sure you get there on time and like two oh, yeah. hours early, right? Yeah, and you have three auditions in one day, and it would be like Venice, Studio City, like oh. all over the map. And, you know, every once in a while there'd be like cockroaches on the bus. I mean, it was the worst. I mean, I, I used to like, real. I used to tell people the stories that would happen, and people were like, you have to write a movie, The Bus Diaries. Yeah, like, oh, The Bus Diaries, <laughs> I like it. I, I might, have, might have a treatment on it. But, well, uh, yeah. Hopefully, because there's a scene in the movie where, you know, you're begging the, the hotel manager that, you you know, you work there for, yeah. and there's like some some weird sexy time that could have gone down. You Hopefully you haven't had any situations like that. I, I have not actually. Um, you know, that like some people kind of do, you know, teasingly would say to me when asking about the Canyons, they'd be like, oh, so you're the Bretty Sonellis character that everyone's trying to molest, oh. like Robert. Danny Jr. in less than zero. <laughs> well, we have to talk about Lindsay Lohan. I know that everyone is probably asking you, what does she like to work with? We went to the Q&A with Paul Schrader, the director, who said she's actually her own worst enemy, and he wants nothing but the best for her. For you, what was maybe the most surprising thing about Lindsay? I think, you know, obviously it was sort of, you know, that we had this New York Times piece that came out that really... Documented. I, yeah, if anything, I felt like it was a little imbalanced because there was a lot of stuff that was kind of left out that was more about the making of the film. And, mm -hmm. you know, you're making a movie for $200,000. You know, there's people who get paid more per television episode. Yeah. And, and that was our entire budget. So, so you know, true. coming with that, you've got people of all experience levels. Um, and, you know, and then and sort of like it was the whole like crossed out name on the script thing was, was sort of put on record. But like, look, everybody's allowed to change their mind. Yeah. If I was going into to a movie and I didn't know about who I was working with, I would probably have ideas about friends of mine that I w would want cast as well. Um, but what I will say is that once we had the table read and once she sort of saw what I was going to do with the role, um, there, there was a new level of respect, and and actually we had a lot of fun working together. We even talked about having more scenes together, and oh, cool. you know, and and she was great. Like she was a lot of fun. Um, I think what what kind of surprised me was just how good her sense of humor was. Like she, she has good comedic timing. She's yeah. amazingly funny, and uh, and just sort of goes for the jugular, and it's and it's great. I think we both agree that your chemistry with Lindsay on screen is fantastic. You guys just seem really natural together. Is this something you kind of sat down and said, okay, let's discuss how we're gonna do each little moment, or is it just kind of more natural and you just, just went for it? It was just about finding the connection between these two people and that need. You know, Ryan is really, I, I've sort of been describing it as a hunger. Like, he's hungry for her, and, and she, to him, embodies like everything not only he, he wants this unattainable girl but it's also like again it's that it's that thing he can't have you know he wants this career he can't have he wants this girl he can't have and and I think you know um, because like a lot of people I definitely like to go after what I want it, it wasn't hard to relate to that the movie is already out it's out right now what's your message to viewers 
who have seen it, who haven't seen it, what do you hope that they sort of take away from the movie, if you will? You know, it's a very distinct portrayal of Los Angeles. Yeah, it's a sad portrayal. It is, yeah. there's, there's a certain amount of sadness. I, I definitely, for me, like Brian's struggles of, he's, I sort of, I feel like he's halfway between who he was and who he wants to be. And that's not, a, it's not like a comfortable place to be in and it's not necessarily the most comfortable to watch. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a certain like unease when you see what this character has to go through that he has to put on a stupid blue thong <laughs> at, a, at, a, at a model casting, you know? And it's funny because you, sort of, you sort of read sort of what people write about it and, and people are like, oh, people were laughing but they weren't supposed to laugh. You're allowed to laugh. You're allowed to laugh if you watch yeah, this movie. Yeah, that was a silly there's, moment, there's, yeah. there's a, an element of satire to this film that, you know, you, you watch this, the things that people go through. I mean, we live in LA. We've met those kind of people. Absolutely. Right, what they'll do to make it. And it is, it's like a ridiculous moment. Like you, I mean. It is, and it's and it's hard for him. And I think like, you know, he, he definitely reaches his limit with stuff. It's, it's not, it's not this like light, fluffy movie, if that's what you're looking for. Absolutely. Well, I like that you bring up the blue <laughs> thong. This is a perfect segue. <laughs> a lot of your really, really loyal and loving Twitter fans uh, wrote in to us wanting to ask you some questions. Uh, the first one is from at Nolan Forever 75, who said, how did you feel when you had to do the blue thong scene? Ba basically in the script, he's out of casting and uh, you know, <laughs> and he's so distractedly thinking about Tara, Lindsay Lohan's yes. character, that he can't, he's not even acknowledging the ridiculousness that he's wearing. When I read that, I immediately went to Brett. I was like, I don't wanna wear the blue thong. Like, Make it something else. This? I don't wanna wear the blue thong. And then he's like, it's Paul's idea. Sorry, you gotta talk to Paul. Uh. Went to Paul. I don't wanna wear the blue thong. Please don't make me wear the blue thong. <laughs> and then he's like, no, I like it. I was like, all right. So I show up, it's the very first day of shooting. And they're like, put this on. And it's it's sort of it was kind of one of those very Ryan moments where it's like, I wanna yeah. keep the job. But I really don't want to wear this. But I really don't want to wear this. Because it's not it's it's sort of like so exploitive and so kind of shocking. Yeah. Um and uh anyway, so we put it on and, and we're shooting it and then he kinda comes up to me and he's like, So Nolan, all right, so the way I've always seen this, we're gonna we're gonna start on a shot of your package and we're gonna tilt up to your face. Yikes. I'm like <laughs> And he sort of sang it in this really kind, fatherly way. And I trust him. He's Paul Schrader. He's, right. he's a legend. And I'm like, okay. And then at the end of the day, you go home and you're like, um. Really yeah, really hey, uh, so this like really weird thing happened on set today. And I don't really know how I feel about it. <laughs> well, your next fan question comes from Digogo Music, who said, ask him if he's coming back for Glee season five and tell him that I said hi. So, hello from our Hi. <laughs> um, I don't know, you know, you, you never know what, what, what happens in the mind of, of the brilliant Mr. Ryan Murphy. So, yeah, you know, I think, I think depending on, you know, if I, I think if fans write in and, and all that, then, then maybe. Uh, we have one from at she loves PK who said, "Why is he looking so freaking perfect?" I guess that's more of a statement, <laughs> but it's just someone who really um, adores your aesthetic. How do you respond to that? I, I mean, I'm you know I'm, I'm flattered. I, I hope that that people sort of um, obviously it's it's always nice to get compliments like that, but really it's more about if people respond to your to your work that that really excites me. All right, going on to the Nolanators. Said, has he ever had a really bad date? And if yes, what went wrong? Are you a romantic boyfriend? Oh. Um, Putting you on the spot here. <laughs> yeah. The ladies want to know. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I think bad dates are very possible, you know, because I think you sort of meet someone, you mm -hmm. have like an initial sort of chemistry, um, but then sometimes you can end up on a date where... Nothing to you, talk about. Nothing to talk about not really excited, you know. I mean, we could role play a bad date if you want. I mean, I could, I could, I could I do mean, a bad date. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. All right, yeah, should okay. be a, a double date? Yeah, yeah, double date. Like a okay. two-on-one bachelor yeah. style date? Okay. Yeah, so, uh, hey, I'm um, glad, glad you both could, could join me for dinner here. Yeah. I was gonna wash my hair, but I'm, we made it happen. Uh, is it, I'm sorry, is that a flea? I, oh. Oh, you, this? Yeah, oh. yeah. No, this is um, a microphone in my cleavage. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought that was it's okay. What um, were you asking? Sorry, my. Right, because we are in LA, me. so you are on your phone all the time. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. good date etiquette. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really like talking to, to both of you. Yeah. Right <laughs> are now. you an actor? Uh, I just play one on TV. <laughs> Do you know Leah Michelle? <laughs> Can I meet her? <laughs> 
Can you get me an audition? I sing. Yes, yeah. I'd love to read for Ryan Murphy. Yeah. These are these are all <laughs> LA date possibilities. I just want to let you know. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Yes. Bravo. What's our last fan question? Our last fan question is from at Nolan Funk Online, who said, "Who's been your favorite co-star, and what is next for you?" So two-part question. Let's see. Well, what is next is uh, Riddick with Vin Diesel comes out September sixth. Total opposite of the canyon. Yes. Complete. Yes. I mean, kind of the same, like. Finn Diesel, Lindsay Lohan, very similar. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could get them mixed up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, so uh, we got Riddick coming out. Um, the new season of Awkward is airing cool. October. Um, that's going to be the next the next uh, block of, of ten episodes. And cool. uh, you know, Colin Colin makes Jenna do some bad things. So that'll be back to playing a bad boy. Right. And back to your roots. Uh, yeah, and then I have a movie called Wildlife that uh, Christine Vachon, who produced Boys Don't Cry, is producing. And then uh, otherwise, you know, just trying to find the next right role. Um, yeah. I've obviously been lucky to, to get to play all these different types of characters and um, you know it'd be nice to do something like a period piece or something with an accent or something you know. What's your best accent? Oh uh, I, I, I can't possibly answer that. <laughs> no I don't know I mean it's just you know you, you, as an actor you need time to kind of work on things. And, of course. Um, yeah you know so so we'll see. Definitely a lot of traveling coming up too. We got Venice Film Festival. Exciting. And, and uh, a few other things in New York. So. New York, you mentioned Fashion Week. Yeah. And your favorite co-star, really quick, that you've worked with. Oh, um, I can't answer that question. I, that, I would be There's alienating. Too many. Too many. Too many. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I love the people I work with. So. Cool. Good diplomatic answer. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being yeah. here. You guys go check out the Canyons if you have not done so already, or you can watch it online on iTunes. It's there, so go watch it. Thank you again for being here with us. You were great. The movie was great. Yes. Yeah. Go see it. Go see it in theaters this weekend. Yes. Bye, guys. Enjoy. Bye.